Hello everyone, welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Emmerdale has issued a warning to fans ahead of tonight's episode, in which Tom King will once again target Piper the dog in order to seize control of Belle Dingle. Tom poisoned Piper before, while Belle was in a mental health hospital. His objective was to injure the puppy enough that Belle would return home and care for her, and it worked. Following the airing of these sequences, the broadcast regulator Ofcom received 850 complaints. Following a massive outcry from viewers, Emmerdale had to broadcast behind-the-scenes footage of Minnie, the Davi actor who plays Piper, to secure her safety. The ITV soap has announced that Tom will target Piper the dog in tonight's episode, with the nasty character shown revving his car at the animal. Tom is well aware of the influence he can exert by using his dog to mistreat Belle, actor James Chase stated. This planned, yet horrible, deed is Tom's attempt to re-enter Belle's life. He knows that her reaction to Piper's injury will allow him to comfort her and re-establish his relationship with her. It's a desperate gesture, but Tom is grasping for anything at the moment. Throughout the plot, the Emmerdale team collaborated closely with the charity's refuge and the Dog's Trust. The Dog's Trust performed study in 2019 and discovered that domestic abusers frequently abuse and, in some circumstances, kill pets in order to control and coerce them. In addition to the cruelty that pets may experience, 97% of professionals working in the domestic abuse sector reported that animals are frequently used to control someone who is being abused. Producer Laura Shaw stated, Working with organizations and hearing first-hand experiences from domestic abuse survivors, it's definitely all too prevalent for domestic abusers to use the family pet as a weapon. In subsequent moments, viewers will witness Tom take to extraordinary lengths to maintain control of his crumbling marriage to Belle, putting Piper in serious danger. Could this awful deed be the impetus for Belle to report her husband as an abuser? Paula Boyden, veterinary director at Dogs Trust, added, The current scenario involving Belle, Tom, and Piper is terribly painful, but unfortunately it is reflective of what we too often witness in our work. Those we support relate their tales of how abusers utilize dogs to coerce, control, physically injure, and threaten them in abusive situations. We've heard of offenders refusing to allow survivors walk their dogs alone, preventing them from getting vet treatment for their pets or purchasing dog food, and even continuously threatening to injure or kill their dogs. This is unsettling and can lead to feelings of isolation. Perpetrators may even purchase a pet for their partner in order to manipulate and entrap them, playing on the strong attachments that individuals have with their beloved pets. She went on to say, We know that people often put off fleeing abusive relationships because they are afraid of what will happen to their dogs if they are left behind, and unfortunately, many refuges do not take pets. This is where our Freedom Team comes in to give a critical lifeline by providing a safe and secure foster home for pets until their owners can find a safe place to reside. Unfortunately, there is an increase in demand for our service, so it is more crucial than ever that we are available to assist anyone facing domestic abuse who has to flee to safety with their pet. Unfortunately, abusers frequently utilize a variety of methods to damage their relationship or ex-partner. Domestic abuse stems from a need for power and control, and abusers frequently target pets. There is a strong correlation between animal mistreatment and domestic abuse. Pets are an important part of the family dynamic, and domestic abuse may be terrible. We've seen ties between economic control and animal abuse, when a perpetrator will withhold funds and prevent a victim from purchasing pet food or paying vet bills, as well as horrific incidents of violence against animals and threatening behavior, such as in this scenario. 
No dogs were hurt in the production of these scenes. Next Monday, viewers will be able to witness a behind-the-scenes film of this episode of Tom and Bell's narrative, which will be posted to Emmerdale's social networks. Tom King plummeted to new lows in Emmerdale when he attacked wife Bell Dingle's beloved dog Piper. Bell returned to the Hamlet this week after spending time in Scotland, and Tom bombarded her with texts, happy to have her back, where he can keep an eye on her. Lydia persuaded her to leave the house and attend Sam's birthday party at the Woolly. Tom, who was present, was quick to approach her and start a chat. Bell held firm, saying she'd rather he didn't attend her family's celebrations. Furious by her defense, he grabbed her wrist and began to threaten her. Suddenly, she was overcome with confidence and exploded, demanding him to leave immediately. He left, embarrassed by what the rest of the Dingle clan had overheard. Tom, furious that she would not accept the new automobile, shattered the GPS tracker and drove up to Wishing Well Cottage. He observed innocent doggy Piper and drove the automobile toward her. At the end of Friday's program, he pretended he had found her on the road, hurried her to the vet, and promised to do anything to help her. Fans have been quite concerned about Piper's well-being, but things do not look good for the beloved pet. The preview scene, taken from Monday's episode of the ITV Soap, shows Belle and Tom returning to the hamlet, clearly reeling from what has happened. The former couple walks down Main Street, contemplating their loss, while Tom begins another manufactured performance of being concerned about her mental health. But as he suggests moving back in with her at Dale Head, Belle has a flash of clarity. Tom was the one who ran down Piper. It was you. She shouts, you've killed her. Tom is stunned since he did not expect Belle to discover his role in the incident. The question is whether she will be able to prove it. Will poor Piper receive justice? After arriving on the scene, Emmerdale's John Sugden plans to exact revenge on the villagers the following week. John Sugden, the latest addition to Emmerdale, is about to expose his true colors, which does not bode well for Aaron Dingle. Farnworth's character made a notable appearance earlier this week. In a recent episode, Aaron Dingle, played by Danny Miller, was on his way to meet a hookup when he was stopped by mysterious newcomer John Sugden, whose van had broken down. They recognized each other through a dating app, and things swiftly escalated. Following their roadside encounter, Aaron attempted to get to know John more, but he remained distant. However, while Aaron was away, John used the chance to rob him, driving away and left Aaron stranded in the countryside without his keys or wallet. It was eventually discovered that John is Victoria Sugden's half-brother, as well as Aaron's ex, Robert. Later, John came to the village to get his van fixed. Aaron was enraged when he learned who he was and confronted him, resulting in a brawl and a strong warning from John. Spoilers for next week show a significant narrative twist. In Monday's episode, John is upset to discover that his van has been taken from the garage, and he suspects who is responsible. Aaron grows anxious when it is revealed that Mac is behind the van theft, while an enraged John loses his cool when he discovers his van sunken in a lake. John swears retribution, but Aaron and Mac are overcome with regret when Victoria reveals that the van was John's home. John then leads Aaron on, convincing him that there might be something between them. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.